let's do matrices. This is the editor section on my Octave. And if I run this file here, it will give me all the answers. But because this is a lesson, I'm going to do what I call a cheat sheet. Control A, Control C. Let's go through it step by step. To clear this page, I'm going to use CLC. Great, good start. We learned from our previous lesson of creating vectors, row vectors and column vectors, that to create a row vector, you use commas in between every number, or spacing just to create a row vector, and to create a column, just separate them with a semicolon. But to create a matrix, you have to separate your numbers both incorporating row vector and column vector in one sentence, obviously in number format. So A for example, it's 5, 6, 7, that's my first row. I used commas to separate, I could have also alternatively used spacing, semicolon, 9, 6, 3, and there we have our matrix. And then A, capital A, and smaller to A, are more or less similarly the same thing, but the only difference is how I imputed them. So the first A, you can see that I manually wrote every numbers, but on the second A, the small letter A, since all Octave is case sensitive, I used colons to separate my numbers. So if you can see 5, 6, 7, I said 5 is to 7, and it included that number in between. 9 is to 3, separated by negative 3, and there we go. Now to create a 3 by 3 matrix, same thing, row times column. The first A I used um, is almost the same format as the only difference that I added three more numbers to create an extra row, and you can see it's two, two four, six, and there we go, two, four, six. The small letter A, since all octave is case sensitive, I used this beautiful formula here. I said two is to six separated by two here, so it's gonna be two, four, six. If you want to create an identity matrix, use the function I, and if you use I3, it'll create a three by three matrix. If you use the um, Formula I2, it will create a 2 by 2 matrix. What if you want to create random numbers? 2 by 2 matrix, you just say rand 2 and it will give you that. Rand 3, it will give you that. Now let's continue. It's important to understand what is a determinant. The determinant can help you identify if your um, matrix is invertible, and this will be very helpful if you are working with linear functions and you're solving linear equations and incorporating matrices to solve those three or four or two different um, equations. Your determinant has to be one, but not the determinant of the function. The function multiplied by its inverse should be one. Obviously, I could just run this file here and everything will be imputed. And you could see what it did here, but because this is a lesson and I wanna take you step by step, let me clear and do my cheat sheet. It makes me very proud that this is possible, y'all. It's so beautiful. Okay, great. So this is my function, um, C218739567. As you can see, I used spaces to separate my rows and obviously semicolons to separate my columns. So this is C, and C is a square. It gave us one. Inverse of C, it gave us an answer. C multiplied by its inverse, it gives it an identity, three by three matrix. Um, and if you incorporate this element stepwise function, which is a dot, it gives us also a different answer. Determinant of C, it's obviously 144. And determinant of C multiplied by its inverse, should be one so yes this function can be inverted now let's do an example finding roots of any linear equations we have three linear equations and we want to solve them using octave these are my three equations equation one two and three this part of my equation i'm going to name it a sorry about that and the second part of my equation i'll call it b so this will be my A, and that will be my B. To solve for the unknowns X, Y, Z, I will call that X. So if you know on matrices, A, X can give us B, and the inverse of A multiplied by B will give us X, and on octave, we can use this equation here, A slash B. So these are my equations. Three equations, I used matrices to represent my first section, which is A, row, 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 and separate each row to make it a column. I use the same colon, and B being just columns, solve for this. I can either option one, X, 
inf a b or x a slash b and let's go and impute this on the command windows option first option is to copy and paste onto my command windows and therefore we get an answer and you'll notice that x will be the same here because we it's the same thing but different formulas alternatively you can just run the file and there you go ladies and gentlemen 